so you got a beard. You finally grew a beard. Testosterone is kicking in. You're feeling yourself. See, now you understand why your beard is like makeup for men. You're feeling yourself. You feel attractive. The problem is now you don't know what to do. You don't even know how to act. See, like anything else in life, there are rules you need to follow. If you want to look your best, there are certain rules you need to follow, even with your beard, to make sure it looks its best, to make sure it's healthy, and to make sure that you look the most attractive as possible. Today, boys, I'm going to show you seven beard rules nobody is talking to you about, but you need to start following if you want it to look better. Let's hop into this. Number one, and the most important thing is either shave it or grow it. See, there's going to come a point in your life where you're going to have to make a tough decision. Look, if you can't grow your beard, you got two options. You either need to force it to grow or you need to shave it. The pubic hair on your face, that is not an option. And look, I'm speaking to you harshly because I'm speaking to you from the heart. I'm speaking to you like my brother. And I'm telling you, I was the dude with pubic hair on my, on my face. I literally had about four little strands on my chin and I would rock that like it was a full beard. I looked dumb. And it wasn't until I realized I looked dumb that I was able to fix the problem. So if you're in that position, you need to make a decision. You either shave it off and accept the baby face or you force the growth. And that's actually easier said than done. See, if you guys have been following me for a while, you already know about our sponsor, Copenhagen Grooming. See, they have a specific beard growth kit that is probably the best thing that you'll ever find in the market to grow. If you're in that, in that space where you cannot grow your beard, but you want a beard, you need to try these guys out. See, they have this specific kit that's meant to grow your beard in a natural way with zero side effects. The cool part is that you get a derma roller. Now, if you've ever heard me talk about a derma roller, it's a simple device that has needles. Well, those needles do this micro needling technique on your skin that's not only healthy for your skin, but it's healthy for your hair follicles to start activating that growth. Well, what you're gonna basically do with this growth kit is that you're gonna roll that derma roller and then you're gonna apply their serum. Now, this serum, this is the money maker. This activator serum is made out of 100% natural ingredients like biotin, arginine, and the wonder child, the, the secret ingredient, Capilla longa. See, all of these are natural ingredients that are found in nature that have zero side effects and promote hair growth. Matter of fact, don't just take my word for it. Click the link down below and see the results for yourself. Like some of these results are insane. You go from no hair to dense hair. And they even did a 150 day study where they found there was a 10% growth in density. 94% of men saw some sort of new hair growth and 55% saw their hair growing faster. See. If you are in this position and you want to try out a solution, you guys need to try out Copenhagen Grooming's Beard Growth Kit. And right now, they have a 150-day money-back guarantee. So if you try for 150 days and see zero results, you'll get your money back. But I doubt that's going to happen. I did it myself for 90 days and I saw my beard get denser. The studies and the reviews that you'll see online speak for themselves. And if that's not enough, if you guys click the link down below right now and check them out, you're also gonna get the beard sidekick. See, they wanna make sure you, your beard grows from every direction. So they're not only gonna give you what you need to fix the outside, they're gonna give you the sidekick, which is a multivitamin that has 27 active ingredients, all making sure that your body systems are performing optimally to help promote hair growth from both the inside and the outside. If you guys wanna check out the beard growth kit, and the sidekick, I'm gonna have a link down below. The sidekick, you're gonna get completely free if you guys check them out right now. If you guys wanna start growing your beard, you already know what to do. Which rolls us on to number two. You need to start treating your beard like your hair. In other words, you gotta start taking care of it. Most men, they start growing a beard and they forget about it. See, you need to buy a shampoo for your beard. This shampoo usually will be safe for your skin so it doesn't overly dry the skin underneath and also will hydrate your hair and clean off your beard from all the dead skin. You also need a conditioner. This is a step almost, I would say, 99% of men skip. Almost no man that I know has a beard conditioner in their bathroom, but a beard conditioner is important because just like conditioning your hair, it helps hydrate the beard to avoid frizziness throughout the day and making sure that the beard is soft and supple all day. So yes, not only do you look more attractive, but when you're actually making out with that girl that you've been dying for, she is literally lusting over your teddy bear smooth face. Number three, if it's in your lip, it's too long. Well, see, once you start making that decision to grow your beard and you're getting nice and thick, you're going to start noting some problem areas. One of them is the beard on your lip starts curling into your mouth. And this becomes a problem because one, it looks 
gross. And two, when you eat, you're constantly having hair in your mouth. So as a general rule of thumb, if it's ever touching your lip, it's too long, you need to trim it down. Which takes us on to your cheeks. See, when it comes to your cheeks, you want a nice curved line down here that accentuates your cheekbones to give you that more strong masculine look. So to get that nice curved line right underneath your cheekbone, an easy way to do that is if you pull your skin and you start shaving, you're gonna shave a straight line, but as soon as you let go of the skin, it's gonna give you that nice natural curve. Alternatively, if you're too scared to do that, what I would recommend is buy the little beard guys. You can find them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. They're extremely affordable, and these beard guides will guide you so you can trim your beard and get that perfect curve every single time. Which, number five, trim your cheeks low. In other words, if your beard starts getting nice and thick, like I'm talking about heavy, see this is really low, I'm talking heavy, you want to make sure your cheeks are always trimmed low and tight to your face. Then you want to make sure that the, the jaw or mouth area is a little bit thicker. What this does is that it, accent, it narrows down your cheekbones and it accentuates your jawline to give you more of an angular look that looks sick. A guy that's famous for doing this is like Dan Bilzerian. Like if you look at the dude, his jawline looks almost superhero-like because of how he trims his beard. Well, if you have a round face or a very squared off face and you want to give you that angularity, trim your cheeks low, keep your beard area or your chin area thicker. Number six, clear your neckline. See, this is a beard and not a neck beard. Once it starts transferring into your neck, it's game over, you look messy. If you want to add that definition to your jawline, you want that clear distinction between your jaw and your neck. So what you need to do is when you shave, you want to shave or your area or your cutoff area for beard growth is right here where your neck meets the bottom of your jaw. That is your cutoff area. Anything under that needs to go to give you that clear definition between your neck and your jawline. And finally, number seven, buy it a brush. Like I said, you're gonna start treating your beard just like you treat your hair, with the same level of care and the same tools you use. And a brush is essential, especially if you start growing a longer beard. See, what I recommend is buying a boar's hair bristle brush. Boar's hair is natural hair from a boar, and this natural hair does a better job at distributing the oils that your beard will naturally produce. You want this so you can lock in that hydration and ensure that your beard is always looking nice put together and make sure that your beard is soft and that's basically it for this week's video guys those are seven beard rules you need to start following once you start growing your beard if you guys like this video and found it informative don't forget to drop us a like down below also boys if you guys want to check out copenhagen grooming they're going to be linked down below as well that's it for me today see you next time